How's it going, everybody? I'm here with Jeremy from Braywell Aquatics, and we have a few questions that we have uh, asked to us through Instagram this past couple of days. And Jeremy's going to answer them for us today here. We're at Worldwide Corals, the mega store. Jeremy, welcome. Nice to see you. Good seeing you, man. Awesome. All right, the first question. Which should I be dosing my tank on a mixed reef if I'm not doing water changes and auto dosing? Alk, calc, mag. It's a two part question. Any minor elements recommended from Brightwell? Well, I'm a huge advocate for water changes, uh, and I don't know how mature the tank is. So if the tank is really mature, you can go longer periods of time without doing water changes. But uh, I would say replenish is our number one trace mineral uh, to use in a situation like that. Okay. So it has all the minors, uh, has some majors in there, but uh, everything that you would need that uh, minus the calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium. I'm starting a 150 gallon bare bottom. Is it possible to do the WWC four month startup method with no fish or should I include one to two small additions? You can do it either way. I mean, either way is totally fine. We have a product, uh, Microbacter Quick Cycle, which is a, an ammonia source. Uh, we also just launched our Microbacter uh, XLM, which is a live bacteria. It'll cycle aquarium with those two products together in about six days. We've come out with the dry rack starter kit, and it actually has the uh, quick cycle in there. It has the uh, Microbacter start, and then it has Microbacter clean for those times when nice. after you get through the cycle, you're left with nitrate, and a lot of times diatoms and cyanobacterias and just unwanted brown algaes get you through the ugly stage. Nice. So basically, what's the philosophy behind the new Microbacter program? Well, the philosophy is, is like, we came out with Microbacter 7 probably in the, around 2007, 2008. Mm -hmm. And uh, at that time, that bacteria was really the way to go because it was a dormant bacteria, meaning it could handle shelf life for long periods of time. It didn't need to be refrigerated. Okay. And it was a blend of both heterotrophic and autotrophic. So okay. it was like our Microbacter Start uh -huh. and our Microbacter Clean in one bottle. Since then, people are wanting to cycle aquariums much faster. For sure. we, we've been working on the Microbacter Start for probably like six years, uh -huh. perfecting it. It's the first product that I know of that's a live bacteria that can handle a shelf life. Okay. Um, our shelf life is about a year, uh, and under normal circumstances, much longer than that. Okay. It can take a freeze of at least one time. Uh -huh. So if it's traveling from like a... Uh, from you guys sending it in one of your boxes to uh -huh. a customer okay. uh, and it goes up to let's say uh, Michigan or something. Okay. It can be frozen and then uh, thawed out and the bacteria is still okay. relevant. I don't know about that. It's just a different tool that you can use mm -hmm. uh, to quickly cycle an aquarium and then we've separated the two bacteria so that with Microbacter Clean uh -huh. you can put it in there um, also when you, you have unwanted nuisances and stuff pop up. Microbacter Clean works very well on like getting rid of green algae, uh -huh. where Microbacter 7 really excels with uh, things like dinoflagellates, cyanobacteria, diatoms, things like that. That's a perfect plug for my next question. How do you get rid of dino? Black out the tank right. for a, probably a period of three days. Okay. Then I would dose Microbacter 7 uh, during that blackout. Yeah. And if they could um, put some UV on it, okay. um, that, would, that would definitely help the process, but normally in a blackout, I mean completely blacking out the tank for three days and using Microbacter 7 to get in there and clean up those yeah. um, dinos. Mm -hmm. I got one. Okay. <laughs> Have you tried our new bounce sauce? Oh. <laughs> we got uh, hot sauce recently at Worldwide Corals, collaboration with a local company. Um, we labeled it, it's a habanero hot sauce, a uh, little gift for you. I, I can't put this on my bounce. No. Don't put it on your <laughs> don't put it on your bounce mushrooms or any of your corals, and don't feed the fish with it. It's delicious on pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I had it last night on the pizza. Oh, nice. You guys don't have any of the quick cycle in stock. Uh, what are you a cap? <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right, perfect. Thank you. All right, Jeremy, you can leave now. Uh, <laughs>